Good morning and welcome to today's verse. To God be the glory. What a great day it is today. Today's verse, it comes to us from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 and 24, and it says this. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. I want to speak to you this morning about how we ought to approach the Lord's Supper. This passage is part of Paul's letter to the church at Corinth, where he addresses the issues regarding their behavior during the Lord's Supper. The Corinthians, they were struggling with division, selfishness, and irreverence during this sacred meal. Instead of approaching the Lord's Supper with humility and unity, uh, some of them were treating it like it was some common meal, like they were at an all-you-can-eat buffet, neglecting the spiritual significance of the meal. Paul reminds them that the Lord, that he instituted the Lord's Supper during the Passover meal on the night that he was betrayed. Imagine that, that the Lord began by giving thanks, knowing that he was about to enter into his passion, knowing that one of his disciples was going to betray him, that he was going to be falsely accused, beaten, mocked, and crucified. And yet he took bread, gave thanks, uh, and broke it, symbolizing how his body would be broken on our behalf and the horrific pain that he would endure on the cross for our sins. Jesus established this sacrament as a way for believers to remember his sacrificial death and to proclaim his work on the cross until he returns, verse 26. When I visited Israel back in uh, 2011, I remember our tour guide, and he said something I thought was kind of real profound. And he said this, and that is that all of Israel's history could be summed up in one word, and that word is remember. The Lord's Supper then, it is a call for us as believers to remember his sacrifice, what he did for us on the cross, to remember his great love for us, to remember our relationship with him, and remember to be his witnesses until he returns. May we remember and never forget. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon our passage today, that it would be a word of encouragement to you. I pray that you would, it is the weekend, I pray that you would have a great day. I pray that you would get out and do something special for yourself and with your family. Tomorrow, Sunday is coming. Make sure you enter to a place to worship the part to serve. Monday morning, God's willing. We'll see you right back here. Yeah, it's on today's verse. Amen.